Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Cat Games. I am A, and I think, I'm pretty sure, I've figured out the computer puzzle. So I'm gonna walk you guys through it if you wanna follow along. So, we're here at the computer. And we have a password. Now, the important thing to notice is that this is a eight, I think it's eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, it's eight, eight character password. Now, while I was editing my last video on this game, I was trying to figure this out, and I noticed there's also eight tabs, excluding the one that uh, you're currently on, the actual password one, but all of these different tabs have different pictures, and they show different cats, and uh, each one of them has a different number and a different letter somewhere on them. So... The first step, I've got a little sketch pad and permanent marker here, hopefully it won't bleed through. Uh, and the first step is to write out the letters with the numbers in order. The same order that they're presented in the computer. So, I'm going to do that. So the first one is 4G. The next one is... So I've got all these different numbers and all these different all these different letters. Now this is crucial because the number tells you where to put the letter that it's paired with. So let's see. For example, uh, M is five, so that goes in the fifth place. So I'm going to write all these out in order. So first, number one, we have E. Then next, we have N. Number three is I. Number four is G. So the password, I screwed up the I, but just ignore that. The password, it says Enigmio. That can't not be the password, so let's give it a try. I've never actually tried this, to be honest. Yes! <laughs> Alright, so that gets the achievement. So I don't know if, the, I don't think there's anything else to that, but it's a really, really clever puzzle. Uh, yeah, so it looks like that's all it does, is it gives you the achievement, which I did not see on my Steam notification because this was in the way. Uh, <laughs> but there's a few other minigames. There's this, which might just be a minigame, but then there's also this. I have no idea what to make of this one. I know that when you click on stuff, the city lights change, but they seem to change randomly. And that, I don't know what that does. My theory is it's like a two-dimensional Rubik's Cube down at the bottom, because, as you can see, when I'm clicking on different stuff, different lights in the city are lighting up. Which is really intriguing. So I'm wondering if you have to get them all lit up, or all... I don't think you can have them all uh, out, but uh, maybe you can have them all lit up. This is a really complex puzzle, because... What I can envision here is you having to do some steps and then reverse it and do other steps. I really like the sound it makes though when you click on the cat. It's really cute, it's really pretty. Oh! I did something interesting. Oh. Ah, I'm figuring it out. I'm in the process, yes! This is a really complex puzzle. One more, I think. So it has to be in like, in a right sequence. It's kind of like the ice cubes in, um, Ty. I'm so excited, I might actually figure this out. Is it that one? Oh, no, 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 I see it! Oh, come on, that has to be it. Massive star? Come on. No, not it? Okay. Well, I'll take the game's word for it, who am I to judge? What could the last one possibly be? A pop print, maybe? <gasps> yes! Haha! <laughs> I figured it out, it was not nearly as complicated as I thought it was. Um, <laughs> man. Thank you. So yeah, this is a game for achievement hunters. Um, and then there's this one. I don't know if this one's actually a puzzle, or if it is just a... Oh. Oh, come on, I totally nailed him. <laughs> this is so goofy. I love this game. I really love this game. It's just really relaxing and fun. Oh, come on, I got him. There's no way I didn't get him. Where's my fidget spinner? People with ADHD will, um, will look for stuff to mess with anyway. 
So this just gives them something to mess with so they don't have to turn a whole room upside down looking for something. How many do I need to get an achievement if that's how it works? I mean, I can't imagine it not working that way. What else am I, what else can I do here? Ah. Yes, I got nine. All right, so I think that is generally, genuinely all the achievements. What happens if I keep going? Can I do that? Although there is that one spider that you can kind of catch um, just like you can with the birds. Maybe that uh, has something to do with it. So, if you click on the logo, it does that. Oh, also, if you click on that, the cat blinks his eyes. Or I, I'm not even clicking on it, I'm just hovering over it. Oh. What happens if I go back through all these? Is there something, something different? Enigma. Oh, thank you. That's that's just totally the first time I did that. Yeah. So it looks like that is all for the cat games for now, unless they plan on updating it. But I don't know if they are or not. Um, either way, I will be putting these cat on here. Either way, I will be putting the cat ears on in the future because I've got some other uh, other cat related games. Um, on my list to play. So, thank you so much for watching the cat games. If you like these two videos, click the like button. And if you like the channel, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. I am A, and I will see you next time. Bye! All cats must ask themselves at some point in their lives, what have I not knocked over? Someone set this all up for me to knock over. That's the only explanation. I am bad at this game. <laughs> At least I'm cute. Oh, wait, what? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I, I don't want this to become a rage video.